Hey all dear students, let's see this problem 1 from Jan Kaldas problems on mechanics. The question states, an end of a light wire rod is bent into a hoop of radius small r. The straight part of the rod has a length L, a ball of mass m is attached to the other end of the rod. The pendulum thus formed is hung by the hoop onto a revolving shaft. The coefficient of friction between the shaft and the hoop is mu. Find the equilibrium angle between the rod and the vertical so let's try to understand how the motion is taking place so arrangement is something like this you can see at the core of arrangement this is a master's hoop master's rod and there is a mass m attached here and then this uh, shaft is rotating about it fixed axis there is friction between shaft and the hoop so because of the friction as the shaft rotates this whole assembly i mean the assembly of the hoop and the rod get tilted and we have to find the angle of this angle the rod made with vertical and equilibrium position. So let's go ahead. This is actually a problem of equilibrium. If you take the system as a hoop, rod and mass m, the forces on the system is the weight mg, the normal reaction of shaft on the hoop and the friction force due to shaft on the hoop. So three forces acting on the system. Now before proceeding to solve, uh, let me write the Condition of the equilibrium. For a body to be in equilibrium, the first condition is the condition of translational equilibrium. That is the summation of all external force must be zero. And the second condition is the condition of rotational equilibrium. Torque about any point, any axis should be zero. Before applying to torque, just by looking to the geometry of the problem, can we say that the torque is zero or not? So for that, let's try to uh, see this situation. Like in this situation, three forces are acting. Suppose the three forces acting on the system are something like this. This is a F1 and this is a F2 and this is a F3. They are such that their sum is zero. But look to the situation. If you can find any point about which the torque is not zero, the body cannot be in equilibrium. So here in this situation, uh, if you look any point inside the triangle that is formed. So about this, the torque due to either force F1, F2, F3 are in the same sense, like in the clockwise sense. So there is a net torque. So for torque to be zero, the forces must be concurrent in their line of action must pass through the same point so first thing is that uh, the summation of all forces must be zero and the second thing is the forces must be concurrent if forces are not concurrent then we can find some point about which there is torque and if there is a torque about any one point so that is not in rotational form so i will use this uh, idea to draw the force lines now, I have decomposed the system into three parts. This is the hoop. This is a shaft rotating like this. This is the rod of length L, mass M. Obviously, there will be some point of contact of the shaft with the hoop. Suppose the point of contact is somewhere here. The point of contact. And this is the center of the hoop. So, at the point of contact, there will be normal reaction like this. And the friction force will be perpendicular to the normal action on this line. So it can be above or below. We'll see. So the line of action of the weight should pass through this point. Only then the forces will be concurrent. So line of action of the weight should pass through this point. So the this rod should be such that the weight of the that mass, the line of action of the weight should pass through that point. Only then torque will be zero. Now, keeping these things in mind, oh, let me place the shaft inside the hoop. So, suppose I am putting shaft something like this, like this. Uh, the center of the shaft and the center of hoop are not the same thing. This is the, what I am showing here is the center of the hoop. I need not uh, locate the center of the shaft. So, suppose this is the point of contact at the point of contact the tangent to the shaft and hoop must be same because they are touching internally 
so this is the tangent and along this tangent friction force will act friction force arises because of the normal reaction so normal reaction will act along the common normal and this is the common normal this is the common normal like this is normal reaction one thing the shaft is rotating like this so this point of the shaft will is has velocity like this and uh, in equilibrium the hoop is stationary so the this point of the shaft has a relative velocity with respect to hoop and the direction of velocity so on the shaft the friction force will act along this direction so on the hoop friction force will act on the opposite to the friction force on the shaft so i my system is uh hoop and the rod so friction force on the hoop will be on this direction like this this is the friction force it's kinetic friction relative motion is there between shaft and hoop so its magnitude will be mu n and then as i just explained the line of action of the all three forces must pass through one point and two uh, the line of action of mu n and n is passing through this point so this point itself the line of action of the weights should pass oh yes i am extending this line like this so now let me put this rod at the suitable angle of orientation so that line of action of the weight mg pass through this point this is center this is the radius of the hoop which is r and now the weight of this mass the line of action of weight is something like this this is mg the resultant of n and mu n they are perpendicular to each other so their resultant is square root of n square plus mu square n square and that resultant must be exactly opposite to mg so that all three balances all three forces balance so i can write mg is equal to uh, n square root of 1 plus mu square this is the resultant of n and mu n they are perpendicular to each other so my equation one no they must they are in equilibrium so the torque must be zero about any point so i am taking torque about the o which is the center of the hoop well, let me draw a perpendicular from o to the line of action of mg this is and think that we have to find the rod the rod the angle made by rod with the vertical suppose that angle is theta and if this angle is theta the distance from o to this mass m is l plus r so this distance will be how much l plus r into uh, sine theta now torque about o is zero net torque about o is zero so torque due to n is zero because line of action of n is passing through o so torque about o is because of torque mu n and torque mg if you can see the sense the mu n is trying to rotate uh, this way that is a counterclockwise direction and mg is trying to rotate this way this is a clockwise direction so the direction opposite and has to be that and their magnitude should be equal so magnitude of torque due to mg is mg into that perpendicular distance that is l plus r sine theta so writing equation of torque so first torque due to mg is mg into l plus r sine theta and torque due to mu n the line of action of mu n as a perpendicular distance r from o so that tor torque is simply mu n into r so put the value of n from the equation one we can write this is a mu r let me write here and the value of n i can write mg divided by square root of one plus mu square now this mg mg will get cancelled so we will get uh, sine theta is equal to mu r divided by square root of one plus mu square and then l plus r and we have to find that angle theta so theta is equal to sine inverse of mu r divided by square root of 1 plus mu square into l plus r and that is our answer thank you